Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsor, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Abraham was an hundred year old when his son Isaac was born to him. Isaac grew on the day of the child's winning. Abraham held a great feast. Sarah noticed the son whom Hagar the Egyptian had born to Abraham, playing with her son Isaac. So she demanded of Abraham, Drive out the slave and her son. 
No son of that slave is going to share the inheritance with my son Isaac. Abraham was greatly distressed, especially on account of his son Ishmael. But God said to Abraham, Do not be distressed about the boy or about your slave woman. Heed the demands of Sarah, no matter what she is asking of you. For it is through Isaac that descendants shall bear your name. As for the son of the slave woman, I will make a great nation of him also, since he too is your offspring. Early the next morning, Abraham got some bread and a skin of water and gave them to Hagar. Then, placing the child on her back, he sent her away. As she roamed aimlessly in the wilderness of Beersheba, the water in the skin was used up. So she put the child down under a shrub and then went and sat down opposite him, about a bow shot away. For she said to herself, Let me not watch to see the child die. As she sat opposite Ishmael, he began to cry. God heard the boy's cry, and God's messenger called to Hagar from heaven. What is the matter, Hagar? Don't be afraid. God has heard the boy's cry in this plight of his. Arise, lift the boy and hold him by the hand. For I will make of him a great nation. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. She went and filled the skin with water, and then let the boy drink. God was with the boy as he grew up. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones. For not is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Come, children near me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord, which of you desires life and takes delight in prosperous days. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus came to the territory of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs who were coming from the tombs met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? 
Some distance away, a herd of many swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swine, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea, where they drowned. The swine herds ran away, and when they came to the town, they reported everything, including what had happened to the demoniacs. Thereupon the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, we heard the moving story of Hagar and her son Ishmael. They were asked to leave the household of Abraham. Pinalaya sila mula sa tahanan ni Abraham. And when the mother and her child were traveling in the wilderness, when they were in the desert, they almost died of thirst. And God, according to our first reading today, heard the cry of the boy. He heard the cry of Ishmael. And God came to their help. True to what we said in the responsorial psalm, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. God came to help them. And how did God help Hagar and Ishmael? And this is something worth noting. According to our first reading, God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. There was water there all along. But because of desperation, Hagar did not see it. Hindi niya napansin na sa kanyang paghihirap, sa kanyang kawalan ng pag-asa, sa kanyang pag-aakala na sila'y mamamatay na dahil sa pagkauhaw, dahil naubos na ang tubig na kanilang dala, hindi niya napansin na meron palang tubig doon sa lugar kung nasa saan sila. All that God needed to do was to open her eyes to the blessing that was already there. This is also what we see in our gospel today. Jesus healed two men who were possessed by evil spirits. And the healing of these two demoniacs, of these two men, did not only benefit these two, it also benefited the whole town. Because the people of that town cannot pass that road where the demoniacs were, because they were so savage. Walang makadaan doon sa kalsadang yun. Kaya hindi lamang yung dalawang taong inaalihan ng masamang espiritu ang nakinabang sa pagpapagaling ni Jesus, kundi buong bayan na yung magaling na ang dalawa, pwede na nilang daanan yung dating daan na kanilang kinatatakutan. But, because Jesus drove out the evil spirits, 
and allowed the evil spirits to enter the swine. And the swine jumped into the sea. The people saw not the blessing that they received from Jesus, but the loss of the herd of swine. Pinanghinayangan nila yung mga baboy na nalunod dahil sa kanila pumasok ang masamang espiritu. Hindi nila nakita yung pagpapala ng Diyos na ibinigay doon sa dalawang taong pinagaling at sa kanilang buong bayan. They failed to see the blessing. They saw only the loss. My dear brothers and sisters, many times the Lord helps us not by some supernatural or miraculous events. When we ask help from God, usually God will not do something spectacular like opening the heavens and help coming down from heaven. Many times, the help that God gives us is simply to open our eyes to the blessings that we already have. To open our eyes and make us realize that the answer to our prayers is already with us. Yan ang tulong kadalasan na ibinibigay ng Diyos. Buksan ang ating mata at makita natin na yung biyayang hinihingi natin nasa atin na. Yung sagot sa ating panalangin nandyan na sa paligid natin, hindi lang natin nakikita. And so my dear brothers and sisters, today let us ask God's help to open our eyes so that we may always see how blessed we truly are. Please stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, through its pastors, may, do true, may be true ministers of healing and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may not be distracted by the lure of power and money, and may they realize the evil of corruption in governance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That purity and respect for human dignity may destroy the unclean spirits at work in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the suffering may see and feel God's healing presence in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Father all-powerful, we bring before you our needs and pray confidently for your help to free us from the influence of evil. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Eastern. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof. roof. But only, only say, say the, the word, word and, and my, my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that, bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our Healing Rosary for the World tonight at 9 o'clock in our Facebook page. The host of tonight's Rosary will be the National Shrine of Our Lady of the Abandoned in Santa Ana, Manila. And so we invite you once again to gather as a family and as a community and beg the intercession of our Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, to pray for us and for the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, 
and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.